outer orange. So, so with Angie, little Angie right now. So this deck is honestly very, very strong. Pretty lethal, actually, I would say, uh, with this new promo that we got. And I did, I did take this to locals the other day. I had one loss. Uh, I bricked like super hard, like super, super hard. I pretty much never saw my grade three, uh, specifically, you know, Anj. Cause she hates me. I recently made actually made a post about this. Uh, I blogged. I blogged on it like literally this morning because I really wanted to talk about it. So I did. So you can also check that out on Buy Me Coffee, BuyMeACoffee.com. Uh, I just wanted a place to kind of talk about my feelings, and that seems like a good place to talk about my feelings. This is also max rarity. Don't ask me why. I want to talk about it now when nobody cares about it. Watch people. Are, people are gonna start caring a lot once. Uh, <laughs> once once maintenance gets banned, we're gonna see a lot of people start caring about Bermuda all of a sudden. Uh, mark my words, it's gonna happen. Anyway, so triggers are pretty much the same. However, I'm actually thinking about putting in a sentinel, sentinel uh crits. But right now it's just a regular four draw eight crits and heal guardians essentially. There's nothing crazy in here, so I'm actually gonna put this to the side. Yeah, it's, it's really it's really good in premium too. Uh, which I know I know Sen's been testing premium Ange as well but yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of room for good cards so this is our threes and then we have aqua down here aqua and then recently i made the changes and i put syria back in i was talking with a couple of people actually but the first person i talked to was actually crow who is antonio same person i got first place at bcs with steam maidens uh, in georgia uh, and he's also part of Kingsguard cards. And him and I have kind of briefly talked about this, like my list, and he was very interested in sort of how this functions. Cause I actually faced him, but he was the person that I brick super hard against. So right now, right now I'm going for a soul charging aggro approach. The aggression comes right here. These two cards are absolutely busted together. If you open these two cards and one Ange, you've pretty much won the game, especially if you're going first. You won't even need the oh, Pro Sisters. Oh yeah, and okay me Oh yeah? Harder. Oh yeah, and okay you harder. <laughs> anyway, so these cards are the nuts. Uh, if you open these, you pretty much win the game. How do you have Soul for Nikita and Moitra? Uh, so we have this lovely card right here called uh, Qual. Just run this you will not have a soul issue at all uh there is a higher soul issue now because of obviously the the promo because of this however e since since we run this it's not that big of a deal you won't be spamming nikita as much but you'll still be able to at least get like one or two procs off of her depending on how quickly you see these so yeah this is this is definitely uh yeah yeah she just she replenishes that soul so quickly i feel like you have to run these or you just uh don't and then you just have to not run nikita or one or the other or you'll never leave <laughs> but yeah so essentially the this on top of this is just such a huge rush because this pops out when you ride a two on top and then this just straight up makes you free board and then combination with like you're like now with this card you pretty much just never stop plusing essentially it's actually pretty insane so ideally what you do is early on you have create a board for free and then you go into Anj, you swing with everything bounce everything and then you call this lovely girl out and then use her skill to recall out cards and you can actually do multiple of them it's not once per turn so essentially what you do is you call one uh soul blast draw a card call a card call this one soul blast draw a card call weasel out use weasel out skill call top card and you just got four cards to the board for essentially doing nothing so it's pretty it's pretty nuts and you just and especially if you're dealing against decks that don't retire or don't do much with your board you're even more successful with this approach because it just means that next turn you don't even need to like you can literally like use all your hand as shield and the next turn you'll bounce all the cards you just called out so you won't miss your Ange condition as much so that's pretty nuts and then you have tira as kind of your finisher and then you have the pearl sisters i will say one thing the pearl sisters at least recently haven't come up as finishers and usually at the by the time i see them my opponent will already be at five damage however they're still really good you can still tech them and take them out i'm still iffy about them i'm um, i don't know most people have been saying keep them in but i'm just one of those people where i'm like 
Ah, but they're Wanos. But I guess it's good guard value. But a lot of times you'll actually soul charge them before you do anything else. So it's a little risky. And then, uh, so currently, right now I'm testing. So I had Siri at 1 and I had Sedna at 4. And right now I pretty much took out the two Sednas and made them Siri. Because I did notice that the... I, I'm, I'm going to probably keep them, but I, I'm just not a fan. I'm one of those people. Uh, so Siri helps you kind of fuel and find your stuff better while also deck thinning. So you can find your pro sister. Whoa. You'll find your pro sisters a little faster. So ideally this is pretty useful to kind of find your aunt your pro sisters all your other stuff so she's pretty good and she gains a lot of power and then uh i actually have been thinking what i haven't think about doing is upping a sedna and actually cutting back a nikita however i can see a world where uh yeah no funny yeah i'm not running i'm not running Rolinka in this deck i'm not i've never really been a fan of Rolinka, though i did run it in the beginning when Anj first came out because there weren't better cards but i feel like now there are better cards where you don't really need the Rolinka engine uh think about cutting back nikita to one However, into the Amon matchup, this is by far your win con. I faced Amon like my first round uh, Monday night. And yeah, they just there was nothing he could have done to to win the game. I was sitting at one damage with like a 15 card hand and no soul, and he was sitting with five damage and a four card hand, two of which are perfect cards. So just kind of it's just kind of GG at that point, right? I feel like the it's not that hard to turn the game around as a Bermuda player when you're playing Nikita and when you just have a fat hand most of the time. The only fear you really have is hope on damp. There's a hope on damp, yeah, it's hope on damp. So that is something to fear, be fearful of. And Anj can grind out for a while. So you don't you want to kind of close out the game sooner than later or force them to use so much hand to where they can't even really hope on dump, hope on dump you or do whatever. Another thing to keep in mind is kind of how you're dealing with their soul. I tend to swing into rear guards. So that way they're forced to use more hands. So their soul just kind of gets weird and their board state gets weird. So that's something I personally do. So I recommend that for people that are facing a mod. And then uh, we'll run Sistico. Sistico is mainly here as a way to send this card back. You'll find a lot of times you'll damage one or you know you'll soul charge one or whatever the case is so you want to send it back you can also send it back with this card as well very useful uh, a lot of people don't some people like to go some people don't she's power and she also rests something so if you happen to you know get bump into her and you're facing extremes or something you can actually rest their gear cats uh, or uh, under the assumption that they're not gonna just blind it but you can just rest some random stuff that you just don't like on your opponent's field you know rest rest like i don't know some some something that they don't need i don't even know what to rest half the time but just rest something just to just to be a pain in the ass just to piss on them and remind them that this is not mega colony there's there's no there's no deck that can deal with the amount of pressure that you'll do uh, between turn one to three that can deal with it it's just so aggressive because you pop this out you get this you get a bounce you get a free card to the board you call these out or call whatever else you want out big swing. sometimes i'll get a soul by turn two and i'll call nikita out get an extra draw 15k power you can't you have to double heal guardian all the shenanigans and i ride to Anj, do it all over again five attack slam face they're at five damage next turn they don't kill me turn after that they're dead like it's just it's just boom 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 game over like it, it, it ends so fast there are though times where things kind of flop the opposite direction that's where i hate this deck and i can't tell like just how strong it is is when things don't go in your favor because this is a hard i have to draw into cards kind of deck and when that happens you'll find yourself flopping that's the only thing i don't like yeah i, I love this mat i got this set in florida actually and it's ginormosaurus rex by the way this thing is huge i tried taking it to my locals and i was like no i don't even want to talk about the locals guys guys we gotta talk about the size of this thing. Screw my Max Rarity An Angie, Angie Pangy deck. We gotta talk about this damn mat. You guys ready for this? Let me go find my um my keyhole. I'll be nice. Put it that way. Wait one sec. Let me go find something. I'm in my PJs by the way, but I'll be right back. So here we have. A normal playmat holder. Normal playmat holder. Just, just a normal day in the life. And here inside this playmat holder, we have a mat. A normal sized mat. Now, if you're just really feeling like you want to shove a playmat in a playmat holder, then then I'll show you. I'll show you the magic of shoving a playmat. <laughs> so here we have this ginormous thing. I don't even know how to like showcase how big this is. See how big it is? It's so big. It's massive. Now if we were to, you know, try and roll roll our, our uh, key here, try to shove it in the hole, you'll find out that there is quite a, quite, a, quite a problem. But anyway, long story short, if you get one of these, it's almost impossible. 
And I mean almost impossible to actually get it into the keyhole, man. So here is here is my big massive thing. And it just does not properly scale with the hole. We see we have kind of a problem here. I can't can't feasibly take my playmat and, and put it in the hole. It just doesn't it just doesn't work. We have tried numerous times here. But it's okay, we'll just keep trying. It doesn't go in. It doesn't go in. My banana is bigger. And because my banana is bigger, can't fit in the playmat hole. Okay? This is a sorting dominance. This is this is key dominance right here. But it looks so short, it sucks when you get these. <laughs> the banana is bigger, okay? I can't put it in the hole, man. Big banana. It's just... Ah, by the way, this was like a $60 point, man. <laughs> and I literally can't use it for anything but the existence of it being on my desk. So, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, so have fun with your big-ass playmats. It's not worth it. Though I happily, happily, happily enjoy this playmat, but I can't fit in anything. <laughs> is it a playmat or is it a mouse pad? It was meant to be a playmat, and I just lost my, uh, my thing, but it's, it's supposed to be a playmat. It actually was marketed when I bought it as a playmat. Is it actually a playmat? I don't really know anymore. But I can tell you one thing, it don't fit. This banana will not have problems fitting in the keyhole. We can just take the banana. See so guys, see guys, this is how you put a playmat in your playmat holder. You just just that easy. But it's a perfect fit. For the perfect happy life of of outer orange and her playmat and her banana you know it's just it's just a happy life this is this is the life right here you don't own a play <laughs> jokes on you i have nowhere to put it true you know you could just uh carry it around and get it all dirty yeah you're going commando mode over there sir going going full commando mode okay well we were talking about Andre, but now we're not talking about Andre anymore i'm actually kind of done talking about Andre anyway